I never thought that I'd come this far. When I picked up the, uh, the camera back, down, back in lockdown, um, I was just seeing what I could do. And for it to, to progress into something more than a hobby, um, you know, it's, it's an addiction to get out and see as many birds as I can. It has become something completely different and I really did not expect to be where I am today. I'm David Brown and I'm a wildlife photographer. I've always been interested in wildlife. Uh, you know, growing up, uh, when, when we were asked what we want to be when we were older in school, I mean, I, I drew myself as a biologist uh, and that's saying something, you know, so I always thought to myself that would be, you know, my ideal job, it'd be what I'd always want to do if I could. That unfortunately wasn't something that worked out, um, obviously things change as you grow older, um, hobbies change, interests change um, and reality I suppose kind of checks in a little bit as well. So I built myself a career as I say, got a job, built myself a career um, from, from straight out of uni to be honest. During uh, lockdown, during Covid, um, it, it just kind of, uh, it kind of came about again. My, my partner um, had a camera um, and she, she was considering selling it so I just said let me have a play about with it, let me see what I can do, see where I can go from there. I love photographing birds uh, for many different reasons to be honest. Um, they're really cool <laughs> from, from the get-go, they're really cool. Uh, they've all got different aesthetics, different colours, different kind of uh, unique skills and abilities as well to be honest. Um, you know, when I was a kid as well, you know, I always, uh, I always loved playing uh, certain, uh, certain video games. Pokemon was a big one and um, always a fan of catching them all as, as you know Ash, Ash would say. Um, so I suppose it kind of spanned from that a little bit as well um, you know growing up and, and still having that, that desire to, to kind of catch them all to you know it, it is wildlife you know is, is real real Pokemon it is realistic Pokemon. I like to travel as well, I like to get out for, you know, to see these birds. Um, so it's, it's really pushing me to, to my limits as well, to, to, you know, get me out of, of my comfort zone a little bit as well. Um, you know, I'll go out in all weathers and all different places. Bempton Cliffs in the UK as well, you know, it's, even the UK trips are incredible, but seeing those puffins come in, uh, the gannets, razor bills, it, the list goes on. And seeing all of these incredible birds in such wonderful scenes as well, amazing places to, to get these photographs. You don't get that, you know, if you if you're staying in your house doing nothing. Bird watching has absolutely helped me massively as well. You know, being in, in quite a busy working environment, uh, in in an office as well. You know, it's not a calming place. Um, the you know the calm nature of bird watching. It's not the calm nature of of you know coming out here and seeing wildlife, um, seeing you know deers walk around, things like that, is an amazing experience. And it's so peaceful. It's so calming. It helps your mental health as well, um, you know, just being here and, and being able to de-stress at the end of a week, going out, you know, at the weekend to somewhere and just calming, de-stressing, it, it's an amazing, amazing thing. So I suppose travelling and my wildlife photography go kind of hand in hand as well. Um, I'd love to travel the world, I'd love to see as many birds as I can in my lifetime before, you know, before they're gone unfortunately. I'd love to, I'd love to see what I can whilst I still can. Whatever I can donate to, whatever I can help with, um, I do tend to now because I like to give back and it's, it's helped me kind of realise how we can save the planet essentially and, and bring it back from, from where it is. It's a lot of work, I'll be honest, but it's worth it when you see what's out there, what it is that we could be losing.